Rocky Hill utilizes the Harkness table, which is a large oval table around which I'm sitting right now. And it's a um, different methodology of, of um, interaction of kids in the classroom. And my kids have benefited from it because there's nowhere to hide in a classroom um, like this. They start thinking of their peers as collaborators in a learning process, as opposed to just kids you know, sitting you know, in a linear way, really being part of the group that's responsible for learning. Creating that climate where everyone is comfortable around this table um, just you know, results in, in, in learning far beyond um, sort of a more traditional presentation. I felt that hardness definitely prepared me to ask those prime questions that move a discussion forward or a lecture forward and sort of turn it in a way that um, it might not have been going before but it allows it to open up in a new direction and without that background in being able to speak my mind and being able to really feel comfortable asking questions, I that, that's something that Harkness certainly gave me. Often what the kids discover is when they really listen to what each other is saying and not just sort of like popcorn, I say one thing, you say one thing, you say another, um, that when they take the time to pause and reflect and listen to what their classmate is saying, that insight is often more powerful than any lecture that I could ever present to the students. The Harkness model, it trains you over time to become a better speaker and to become more articulate and speak smoothly in front of a large audience. You can't just speak and, and, and say fluff, I would say, and, and you can't just waffle around a Harkness discussion, and anyone can do it. But definitely you have to be prepared, I would say, and for different subjects you have to do your research beforehand, the night before, and maybe have a, dis a preliminary discussion with your peers to discuss what you want to say during a Harkness discussion, make sure your discussion is as effective as possible. Just being comfortable asserting your perspective and then listening to a counterpoint, an argument against that, and being able to stand firm or to concede that you could have presented your um, perspective more clearly. And I think it's that self-awareness that can translate across not just all disciplines, but you know, beyond the school classrooms.